So now, in this video, we'll see how to do the VAS hosting for your WCF applications. So basically, first of all, you will have to make some configurations in order to enable this VAS hosting and then you can start doing the hosting thing for your service. So let's see the, both the process, like first we'll have to go to the control panel and we'll configure the system for the VAS hosting and then we'll start deploying the service. So let's see both the process practically. As in the previous two videos we have already seen, like we have done the self-hosting as well as IS hosting, where in the IS hosting we don't have to do any code while in self-hosting which we have done for net TCP binding we had to do a lot of code for deploying that particular service. Now what we want is we want to deploy a net TCP binding over the IAS so that we will get all the features which IAS provides us and without writing any code. So by default that is not possible so what we'll do we'll come to uninstall change programs turn windows feature on or off and here in the top we'll find things for WCF services and inside this you can get the TCP activation along with that TCP port sharing so if in your particular system you don't have these particular things checked you should check these things along with that I have also checked for MSMQ in case later you want any message queuing out there so I have actually activated all the uh, protocols for WCF services which we can run over the IIS and after doing that we'll come to the IIS again where we have already deployed the service alright sample WCF web service will come to the content view here you can see the service is already lying but now what we'll do we'll come to the properties or advanced settings right here where you can see only HTTP is the enabled protocol for this application I can just put a comma and we'll say net.tcp just say ok now alright so I have opened both the protocols here now coming back to our application what changes we'll have to do is first is we'll convert this basic HTTP binding to net TCP binding alright and here I'll add one more address base address for the net TCP protocol just put one port number like 1234 or any particular one alright so just save these changes and let's run this service.svc again so you can see still the service is working fine either you can run it from here or you can come to IAS and can run this from here as well like this alright so this is how you can start hosting your services in the WAS hosting that is Windows activation services